Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another deliciously easy Game Pass game. And this time we are getting it all in DC League of Super Pets. This was developed by PHL Collective, published by Outright Games and is usually available for a bit of an eye-watering £34.99 slash $39.99. Yowza! But as I said, luckily this has just been introduced to Game Pass, so get your buns on it, Hearns. So this is Superman and Batman's story as, as the dogs. Yes, Crypto and Ace team up to shoot Lex Luthor's Lexbots and save the world from all the four-legged fluff bags from being kidnapped and stiff. Huge stiff. So as for achievements, the majority are story related, okay? Eight to the 15 are story based. Others like finishing a level with 85% health will come naturally as will uh, getting an A rating. But there is just one slightly tricky achievement to get and we will get that out of the way first. Now, please note that this is not a full every level walkthrough. There is simply no point, as every level basically plays out the same. You just shoot the same enemies, press the Y button and re uh, right bumper or left bumper to use the upgrades, etc. So all I'm showing you is the tricky achievement and how to upgrade your skills to fully upgrade everything for those particular achievements. I, do, I promise you, though, the game's levels are really, really easy enough. You honestly don't need a guide for it. So all in all, it's going to take you around maybe two to three hours. So with that being said, then let's begin. And as we begin, you can see that the map is covered in basically three areas. So there's 15 levels uh, all in all in this game. So we'll have to obviously start from the left to the right, which is absolutely fine. So that's what we're going to do first. Now, like I said, the Lexbot lover achievement, which we're going to do in this first level, is for finishing a level without destroying a Lexbot. So I'm going to tell you um, sort of where to fly and where to go to uh, basically avoid the enemies. So you cannot shoot an enemy. You, you normally press the X button to shoot. So do not shoot any enemies at all. And you cannot fly into an enemy as well. And the easiest way that you'll know this is in the top right hand corner, as we'll begin, there is a counter. Now, basically the more enemies you hit, the more the numbers go up, as you would expect. But of course we need that to be on zero for the entire level. On the right hand side, you can three, see three bones going up. Uh, they are checkpoints, as we'll come up to in a minute. So if you do accidentally hit um, an enemy, the best thing, what you can do is ki uh, die. Just kill yourself off by being shot at and running into buildings and stuff. And you can go from the checkpoint and it does not void the achievement. So um, all you're doing then, you can press the B button to slow down, which does help massively. So it, it's on rails, so of course you you it's, it's the character moving on its own. You can't... Uh, do anything about that. All you can do is just dodge, duck, dive, dip, dodge, and dive. So yes, if you uh, if it does get a bit overwhelming here, press the B button to slow down. Uh, you can press the A button to speed up, but I honestly wouldn't bother with that. Now, also be careful because some of these tutorials will have you pressing certain buttons to use upgrades and stuff. So just make sure that you're shooting sort of right up high into the sky, and that's where we're going to stay for the majority. Um, we're just going to stay sort of high and in the middle. Now, for some reason, this part really done my head in. Be careful, you have to go through the two enemies here. It's so easy to hit one. Again, if you do it, end up hitting one, just restart the level. This bone right here is where the checkpoint is, which is all good. So from this point on, if you do hit an enemy, uh, just uh, acc uh, accidentally or whatever, just kill yourself and you'll start from this part of the level, which is all good. And again, it does not void the achievement. So again, if you hit buildings or lose health, that's fine. It's the enemies that we're trying to dodge. So I'm just going to tell you exactly where to go and how to dodge. As we're going to see more enemies appearing now. So again, don't worry about getting hit for now. Like I said, the achievement for finishing a level with 85% health, do not worry about that. We'll get that uh, later on. So for this part, make sure that you are heading to the left. Don't worry about the, again, don't worry about the abilities and stuff. Because again, that's what we're going to do, not hit an enemy. Right, go to the left here, and then sort of go down. Because if you went to the right, you would have been hit. And also, there's going to be a... And right here, what you need to do is go to the left as well. So, left and down there, so you wouldn't get hit. Same here, stay down. And there's going to be a Superman logo coming up. Do not hit that Superman. It's like a Superman crest. Do not hit it, because it will automatically hit some robots. Here, go to the right. Sorry, <laughs> just go to the right there and go through the second checkpoint. As long as you've got uh, no enemies hit, we're still golden nuggets, baby. Right. So there it is, finally telling you to uh, how to slow down. So again, just um, obviously there's no flying enemies here. So just dodge, dip, duck, dive, dick and dodge and dive. 
There you're going to start flying uh, towards you, so that's fine. Uh, sort of away from you, that's fine. Don't worry about those ones, they're fine. This is where the Superman crest is, so just fly over it now. So fly over it, there we go. Again, do not get that. That'll automatically hit some enemies and that'll avoid the achievement. But of course, you can just kill yourself if you do. Uh, just keep dodging then for now. Um, this bit, for me, was the sort of trickiest bit for, for whatever particular reason. Um, between the second and third checkpoints. Because they're going to start flying from everywhere. So head to the left. Head down. There we go. And eventually we're going to hit that third checkpoint. Again, the, you can hit, uh, get hit by those dodgy things. That's fine. Here is the third checkpoint, which is all good. Uh, basically, we're going to start going down at low to the road now. Um, I, I've seen a couple of people find this the trickiest part. But for some reason, this was the easiest for me. Uh, so again, we just, we just, uh, <laughs> well, hello. I don't know why I've done that. But anyway, we, again, stamina, blah, blah, blah. You know, you'll get used to it. It is a kid's game, so it is easy enough. So now is where we're going to start heading down. Now, it is very easy to hit one of these enemies, though, on the road. So again, be careful. And of course, you can get hit by cars and lose some health. So just go as low down as you can, trying to dodge the cars as well. Because they're going to come at you with just about, <laughs> just about above you. So just stay as low as you can. Again, pressing the B button to slow down where you can as well. So they can just fly straight past you. Again, don't worry about being hit. I did try going for the 85%. Um, less than, but it doesn't matter. And because <laughs> I'm just flying into absolutely everything now. Now we should have made it. So that is how we get then. Now these... Pet cards. I'm going to tell you about these in just a minute. But these pet cards, let's just get through the end of the level. Here it is then. So this is where you'll get the Lex Bot lever. Now again, this may take you a few tries. Editing has helped me big time right there. Because it took me about four or five tries. Especially with the first. Um, yeah, especially with the first section. For some reason, I kept hitting some enemies all the time. Now I did get a D rating. Obviously, I didn't hit any hit any enemies you get an a rating by just basically hitting all the enemies that you can and you will get that pretty much naturally all right so we're going to start the second level now uh, now this is one now again if you wanted to if you don't end up getting the 85 percent health or if you wanted to do the let bot lever achievement later you can finish the game get all the upgrades that you can because basically you get a kick-ass shield at the end and then do the first level again. So that is if you wanted to make things a little bit easier for you if you're having trouble there for the first time. If not and you manage to get that, then that's fine. The rest of the achievements now are genuinely just very, very easy. So like I said, all the levels basically play out the same. But what I'm going to just quickly explain to you is the pet cards. And now, it's really, really hard to miss any of these. They are in your way. They are on the way, and you'll see it right here now as soon as we turn a cheeky little corner. Now we can start shooting the crap out of everything, by the way. So use your incredible Superman power stuff. Now here it is. You pretty much cannot miss these. It'll always say pet rescued. So every, um, it's usually about one a level until we get to the later levels. And then you can basically end up grabbing two or three. Um, but I will explain what to do with the whole you've rescued a pet bit in just a moment so uh one more thing i'm going to show i'm not going to show you the whole levels like i said there's generally no point because you're on rails there's there's nothing else you could do but well what we are doing is coming up to the superman crest now of course i told you to miss it the first time so every time you hit one of these and trust me they're going to come in very important later on it always starts with this so you just press uh, it's li like a little mini mini pad the D-pad minigame. So wherever it's telling you to press, you press. As you, as you can tell, I pressed the wrong button the first one. Doing this, though, also grants you quite a bit of health as well. So if you're running low on health, uh, make sure to grab one of these Superman crests. Do the D-pad minigame. Uh, it, it'll always be three of the robots all of the time. And that will be that. So obviously, I lost a bit of health, so I got a good, uh, good chunk of health right there. Um, but that is basically the explanation there for the card and rescuing pets and what the Superman crest logo. It's also obviously the same for Batman as well if you played as Ace. Um, now, by the way, just to let you know, I played as Crypto for the first five levels and the last five levels. But for some reason, the middle five levels, 
Um, so from 6 to 10, I found it easier with Ace, old Batman's dog. But obviously it's completely up to uh, up to you, whatever you whatever is easier for Ayao. Right, so little edit's going to appear now because we are basically just going to be done. So we're just going to smash through the level. So crack through the crack on through the level as normal, and then nah, 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 we have finished this one. Now, what I am going to explain to you now is exactly what we grabbed with those cards. Of course, it'll tell you um, how much you've got. We, we we should, to be honest, you should easily get now the A rating, so you should get the Super Duper Dog achievement. If not, genuinely, genuinely, you will get it. You will get it, okay? Now, you can see where the Green Lantern badge is going around. That is all story-related as well. That is the same for all three of them. Um, so you've just got to complete all five levels to get that fully going around. So what we can do, bottom right hand corner here, you can see the skill points. Now every time you finish a level, you will acquire one skill point. And what you can do is put them in, well, whatever you want, if you want. <laughs> if you want, you're gonna need to anyway. So I just basically go went from left to right. So health first, then stamina, then chip Merton and PBs. I just went literally from left to right. Now, you can see that we need 20 skill points in order to uh, fully complete and unlock everything. But there are only 15 levels, so you're probably wondering, what in the old itty bitty titty committee, how the hell are we going to get that, basically? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I am going to explain. So once we get off this, on the bottom left-hand corner, you can see what looks like a little building. Now, this is the adoption center. So this is where we picked up the cards in the level. This is where the sort of rescued pets come to, if you want to call it that. So what you need to do... Every time you finish a level, you need to come here. So, uh, so what we do is click on the one thing and it'll have two things there. Eats every kind of fish, has a keen hunting instinct. So, sometimes it'll have toys, sometimes it'll have food. So what you need to do is click the one that basically is the clue in the card right there. So of course that was fish, so tuna. For Jarvis the dog, um, obviously it, it's basically what the dogs like and what the cats like. Now, if you get a star one, like you just um, seen me with Candy the cat, the bar goes up further. So you obviously have to correct, uh, click basically the correct ones in order for the bar to go up. Basically, you have to do it twice in order to get the pets to appear here in order for these people to adopt. Now, of course, we'll have to do another level and come back to this part. But what you're going to see... Um, at the very top there, at the very top of the screen, you can see D, C, B, A, and S. Now, that is where we're getting the skill points from. So, what you need to do is match the humans with the pets and make sure that it is a good match. If you get an okay match, it's not the end of the world. But, of course, uh, the, the more good matches you have, the easier it is to get, the, the quicker it is to get the skill points. So, that just like the, the animals, they're going to have two points, what they like, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you kind of have to sort of go along with what they like. So some people will say, um, likes building a, a porcelain bowl. So, you know, that's for a cat. And then it'll say, grew up on a particular farm or likes particular food to eat. So it's really just a bit of a guessing game there. But it is fairly obvious uh, which ones like, um, whichever ones it is. But again, we'll just come to that in a little bit later on. So this is the level for me personally, where I end up getting the finishing level with at least 85% health. Now, the best thing about it, if you haven't, uh, if you don't know yet, you can, if you end up um, with less than 85% health by the time you hit the third checkpoint, do not worry. What you can do is die, and then you'll always restart with a full health checkpoint, or full health. So every time you restart the checkpoint, you will restart with full health. So don't worry, it's not too difficult at all. Uh, so I've got it here. I'll just show you the sort of end, right, um, end of the third level, because again, this is where I get it, plus getting another pet to rescue. Um, now again, obviously you're going to have these sort of bombs coming towards you, so you're going to have to shoot these. But for the most of it, the ones shooting at you, you can just sort of avoid them. Um... So here we go then, I managed to get it. So yeah, if you're trying to go for this particular achievement, like I said, you can die, restart at the last checkpoint and get full health. With the enemies that shoot at you, you can just sort of dodge that, but the bombs you are going to have to shoot at. Because I realise with this game, if you're shooting at an enemy, it's kind of hard to see where their bullets are coming towards you. Am I right? <laughs> Red. Red. 
So now we are going to get our first adoption. So like I said, after every single level that you do, you're going to go to the pets. You're going to upgrade these animals right here. So again, enjoy sweet treats. So we know that he's going to like a cheeky pet of peanut butter. Um, but like I said, we have to now wait to, until the next level to get Jarvis adopted. And then Candy, you know cats. They have a keen hunting instinct. They know they're going to prefer the mouse over the sort of chew toys and things like that. Again, you should know what a dog likes and what a cat likes pretty much. Um, so every new one, like I said, every time you collect a new uh, a rescue, a new pet, it's going to say it's it there. So enjoy farm, fr farm fresh produce, you know, to give them the carrot. So now we can finally get a bit of adoption going. So there we go. Eats any kind of fish and has a keen hunting instinct. So you can go through all six humans right here. And again, they're going to have different abilities and stuff. So the one that I found there was um, Amelia, who um, has um, a rodent problem in the house, which you know with Candy has a keen hunting instinct. You know straight away. The two of them do not have to match. As long as one of them matches, you know that you're going to get a good match. Um, even if you get an okay match, you will still unlock the achievement. Don't worry. The only thing with the okay matches is, like I said, it takes a little bit longer in order for the um, skill bar at the top to uh, ba basically get there quicker and sort of upgrade. Um, but obviously, we're going to try and go for good ones. And then, so every time that we finish a level again, of course, we're going to go straight to the skill menu. And we are going to upgrade every skill that we possibly can. And there we go. So that's the first one then, the max health. Again, it could be particular any particular one that you've done. So remember, after every single level, make sure to go to the pets, feed up the pets, and try and get them adopted as much as you can, because you end up getting a skill point again for every time that you do good matches, etc. So, uh, like I said, I do apologize. I did want to show all the boss fights, and I accidentally forgot to press record on the first boss fight, but it's basically a snake. you just got to shoot it three times while avoiding the uh, its firepower and stuff. So here we go then, like I said, I've been doing this after every single level, you should as well. Um, and as providing, I mean, it sh you should be on about the same here, I've got about 5 out of 10 pets. Um, again, don't worry though, if you're only getting okay matches, because there are plenty of pets and there are plenty of humans uh, to go around. So do not worry if you keep only getting okay matches, you know, just try and get the good matches. Like I said, just makes it a little bit easier for you again. Um, so, <laughs> Choo Choo. Ah, oh, Choo Choo. Yeah, he likes to chew in his own bowels, they expect. That's all animals are good for, right? Uh, so there you go. A bit, bit of Choo Choo, a bit of Eric right there. Oh, another good match. And as you can see, it's gone up to B, which basically has given me a third skill point. Which is all good. So, now with that third skill point, or the other skill, uh, skill point we've got, now I can go over to the skills and upgrade the rest of my stamina. So now what we need is three, six, and nine. And obviously we've got another two left to go with the pet adoption center. And we've, we're on to level eight here already. Now, if you've been doing uh, following me, doing everything correctly, doing exactly what I've been doing, you should get everything basically unlocked just before the last level. Um, which is all good, which is absolutely... Yeah, it's, it's absolutely fine. Right, so here is the second boss. I'm just going to show you the second boss. So it's going to start firing rockets at you. So you just need to shoot where the rockets come out of. Obviously, if you can shoot all three, then the health goes down a little bit quicker. Remember to press the B button on the left or right in order to dodge. But I barely used the dodge, in all fairness. I just thought it was a bit... It was good to dodge the one. But then, you know, our dog kind of took its time there to um, sort of... Get, come back from the dodge, so ended up getting hit anyway. Um, but this is the first phase. So again, obviously you're just going to keep spamming the X button, keeping your finger on it, and then eventually it is going to get the first phase beaten done. Eventually it's coming. It's coming. I see now. I think I prefer. I prefer aces. Y button attack, to be honest. I do prefer Ace's special button attack, especially when there's a whole bunch of enemies in the area. Which comes in mega handy for the last set of levels. So, uh, this is basically the same thing then, except he's doing kind of a weird wiggly wave. So, just do the same thing. Dodge the rockets, 
and then shoot the <laughs> wherever they come out of. Shoot the hole, buddy. So that's the second phase beat and the third phase then he's gonna come up close to you and he's gonna start trying to basically stab you here now every time you see whichever one's going you just need to go in the opposite direction so the top one go in the opposite direction because he's gonna try and stab you from basically wherever you are so wait and then as soon as he goes to stab just move in another direction and that will get that one then you just need to hit the middle which is absolutely fine but that's all this is gonna do so again when he tries to stab you just before he does, move, move, and it'll be the same um, direction and pattern that they do each time. So just hit the middle, and then eventually, that'll be the next boss complete. Speed down! Oh boy, am I lapping up these rare achievements because I'm assuming by the time everyone's figured out that this is still on Game Pass and everyone's played it, um, those rare achievements are not going to unlock. So I'm just going to enjoy that for now. Right, so we're back here to the Pet Adoption Center. Now, as you can see, I'm already on A as we've gotten into the final area. So, you know, again, we've got plenty of pets to go around. So if you are on less than A or just above B or something, Again, do not panic, you've got plenty of time. I've just hit S, which means now I've got all skill points from this part. So there's all five skill points that I've got from the pet and adoption center. And like I said, I've got plenty of pets left over, plenty of humans left over, well, they're always uh, going, and I've still got four levels left to do. So um, I'm not gonna bother now. As soon as you've got all five skills from the pet adoption center, you literally don't need to bother with that. But like I said, if you're only on A and you still got a bit to do, like I said, don't we still got four levels, so that's still quite a lot of pets here to grab out. So there you go, I'm good. I don't need to do this anymore, as I've said. Again, we've got four levels and about, I'm sure it's about five or six pets that we can still grab as well. So it, it's pretty much unmissable, but obviously you're doing it after every single level. That just makes it um, a lot easier. So, after doing this one then, we, um, this is basically the end of level 12 now. Now again, like I said, the enemies and everything have basically stayed the same. They've, they've more or less stayed the same throughout the entire game. A couple of new enemies appeared, but now, like I said, just before we start level 15, we should now have upgraded absolutely everything, which would give us the Goddess of Olympus. Now, when we have a look, if you've been following my guide exactly and doing exactly what I've been doing, Etc. Etc. You should know only have two left, and that is for defeating Lex Luthor and filling PB safety meter. Like I said, with the Green Lantern thing earlier on, with the um, with the green line going around, uh, it's pretty much it is unmissable. You do it after completing all five levels. So um, now, I do want to tell you one thing though: the shield in this is incredible, and this last level can be a bit of a pain. Now, I didn't die somehow. But you get two of these mini bosses here. So if you can, try not to be a bit of a dope and use your shield um, before hitting this uh, mini boss. Because as you can see, it's kicking my absolute ass right now. Almost died. And just about managed to get away with that. Uh, but after you beat this one, there is another mini boss. We're going to go down onto a train track and there is another mini boss. So again, for this level specifically, just try and um, use your shield sparingly. So only use it when you are, you know, in a bit of a pickle situation. Because there is only one checkpoint in there before we get to the boss. Now, Lex Luthor, pretty much, he's pretty easy. He is generally just pretty easy. Um, again, I don't end up dodging. It's kind of, it's just a timing one. So as soon as you see the third sort of blink go, then just move. Because as you can see, the dodge is pretty pointless to me, to be honest. So as soon as he goes, as soon as he almost hits you, and then just start shooting, you'll pretty much automatically hit him. 
and this is going to happen for a couple of waves. So again, as soon as you see the rocket uh, leave, dodge. Again, my time in for some reason is absolutely pathetic. There we go. So I finally managed to get there. Then just shoot the crap out of his hands here. That will end the first phase, so it's not too bad. Now, the second phase isn't too, isn't too bad either. He's basically, it's just up in the ante a little bit. So I ended up just going from left to right without dodging, and that seemed to work a lot easier. So again, as soon as you see it, go from right to left. Right to left, there we go. And then just shoot the crap out of him again. Now, you should have enough on the shield right now, and enough time in order to use your shield. Again, right bumper, left bumper, as you know. And you don't even need to dodge. Like I said, you do not need to dodge. Uh, and you should have, like I said, enough time in order to shoot the crap out of him. Be shot at with a bunch of whole stinky butt rockets. And then you should have, like I said, just enough time here to go kablam, blam, blam, and death. And somehow, and we got to press uh, the, down on the D-pad, not sure if that bit's random. And he does the most epic, epic somersault backflip you'll ever see in your life. Damn, it's a strong-ass dog. But anyway, that should be that then, guys and gals. So you should get the achievement there, Luther Lockup and the Guardian 3 achievement. Now, I do hope you enjoyed, like I said, that should hopefully be then your last two achievements. And then that is another easy Game Pass game done. But thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope that this quick achievement guide helped you. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Um, again, like I said, I didn't do a full walkthrough because there was no point. Like I said, the, the levels were easy enough. You didn't need me to show you. Um, but with that being said, thank you so much again, guys and gals. Big shout out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel. And, well, uh, what else? What else? Nope, that's about it. So, again, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one of the next Game Pass guide anyway. Big la 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 love. And again, let me know if the quick, this quick achievement guide helped you out this time. Thank you 